This is our eLife Dual Straps 464 TLSO brace. This is both left and right side compression pull tabs on the waist belt part. This is the posterior panel and two side protection soft pads on the inside. This is the anterior thoracic extension panel and two independently spherical rotatable chest pads above and four straps for shoulder and axillary. To adjust the size of the waist belt, first, lift the compression pull tab, flip the panel over, and lift the side protection soft pad. Detach the hook and loop fastener from the brace wing and pull out the wing to the desired size as shown. Secure the hook and loop fastener to the brace wing. Secure the protection soft pad and repeat those steps on the other side. To adjust the sternal bar, pull the sternal bar pin and adjust the bar to the desired height. Release the bar pin to lock it in place. To adjust the hinge of the anterior panel, press the side button and turn counterclockwise. Then turn clockwise to secure the hinge. To wear the eLife Dual Straps 464 TLSO brace, first of all, measure the circumference of the waist. Patient should stand to wear the brace. Place the ATE panel onto the front. Adjust the height and angle of the ATE panel to accommodate body shape with the patient holding it. The sternal plate should be 1 to 2 inches below the sternal notch when standing. Position the belt by centering the posterior panel over the spine and slightly above the tailbone. With the patient holding the ATE panel, fasten one side of the brace wing onto the ATE panel and close the other side of the brace wing snugly. To tighten, have the patient pull the compression pull tabs and attach anywhere onto the brace. The brace should be comfortably snug. Clip in and tighten shoulder straps. Attach the straps to the posterior panel ensuring the strap pad is positioned optimally. Straps can be positioned under axilla as well. For more flexion control, both shoulder straps and axilla straps are able to be attached at the same time. For the removal of the brace, only one side of the brace needs to be opened for removal and reapplication. Detach one side of the straps. Release both compression pull tabs and detach one side of the brace wing. Slide the brace off the shoulder gently 